This morning as we read our scripture reading this morning comes from Psalms chapter 25 verses 4 and 5. Psalms 25 verses 4 and 5. And it reads, Show me your ways, O Lord. Teach me your path. Lead me in your truth and teach me. For you are the God of my salvation. On you I wait all day. I read to you Psalms 25 verses 4 and 5. Let's go before our Heavenly Father in a word of prayer. Most precious and heavenly fathers, we stand before you this morning. Father God, we just give you thanks and praise, O God, for your mercy and for your grace. Heavenly Father, we thank you, God, for this day that you blessed and allowed us to rise and see. And Father God, as we go forward in this day, God, in, in, in praise and worship. God, we just pray for forgiveness for our sins now. For Heavenly Father, we ask so God to continue to lead God in the record, so God, in everything that we do. Father God, we pray for those that are gathered here in the sanctuary upon this morning. Pray for those that are at home, O oh, Heavenly Father, and are unable to make it to church. Father God, we pray for our sick and shedding. We pray for our elderly, O oh God. And God, most importantly, God, we pray for those that are not saved upon this day. And Father God, we pray, O oh God, you grant them another chance, O oh Father, to come to know you as a Lord and personal Savior. But God, we ask, O oh Heavenly Father, you continue to look down upon our ministry here at St. Paul. Continue to look over our pastor and our first lady. Lead God and direct us, O oh God, in the direction that you would have for this ministry to go. And Father God, we just constantly ask, so God, to be with us all this day. And God, we just give you all the praise, honor, and glory now. And we ask these things in your precious Son, Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Jesus is all. 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 Jesus is all.
Matthew chapter number 18. Uh, verses, well, let's do, look at verses 19 to 20. We'll do it 19 to 20. <coughs> Notice that Jesus says again, I say unto you, which means this is not the first time that he's made this statement that he's been ready to make. He says again, I say unto you, that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. You may be seated. Jesus says, again, I say unto you, that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done them of my Father, which is in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my land, there am I in the midst of them. There am I in the midst of them. There am I in the midst of them. Well, last week we talked about the road to the covenant. This week I want to talk about when the Lord gets involved when the Lord gets involved. Because notice we talked last week that if you have a fault with your brother, we said first of all, there must be single confrontation, intermediate confrontation, then public confrontation. But now we see where the Lord is gonna get involved. Amen? Where the Lord gets involved. This morning, my brothers and sisters, I discovered that the Lord has a vested interest in the success of the organism that we call the church. Because ever since Jesus uttered those words upon this rock, I will build my church. There is an impressed implication that the church belongs to him and him alone. Are y'all going to help me yet? And when I talk about church, I'm not talking about these buildings, I'm not talking about these campuses, but, but everything that is attached to the church belongs to him. Prayer belongs to him. Worship belongs to him. Salvation belongs to him. Peace, fellowship, baptism, communion, stewardship, and everything. God it belongs to Him. And because God has a vital uh, and prevailing interest in the success of the church, there are some things that cannot go on in the church. Are y'all going to help me here? In other words, God does not want us bickering with each other. He does not want us at war with each other. He doesn't want us to be shouting saints in the church. And then war with the saints in the streets. He does not want us disjointed. He does not want us fractured. He does not want us to be ineffective. Because one of the greatest areas that makes any church ineffective is when our fellowship is not reflective of his will. The free preach may bring I 
you make me. I'm kind of like, huh? And I stop every that people can come together, not only for right, but they can come together for wrong. When you 
crucified prayer take place, it does not get placed in the law of fire. All right. All right. Okay. Jesus suggests in the text that the prayer we pray when we are together, they wind up getting the attention of the Father. Yes, sir. Y'all missed that. Yes, sir. Jesus says in this text that when we pray, we're unified, we are together. The prayer is not only get his attention, but they get his father attention. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Woo! And see, too many of us are trying to pray to impress talk. Yes. Are y'all gonna help me here? But when I pray, I want the father to hear my prayer. Listen, 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 listen. And sometimes when God dispenses the answer to our prayers, it may be, no, I love you too much. Yes, but you're going to have to wait. All right. Yeah, but it ain't what you expect. Yes, sir. Yeah, but wait a minute, here goes some more. All right. Yeah, hey, I thought you never asked. Yes, sir. Are y'all with me? Yes. Huh? Because, see, let me just put a pin right here. You got to understand that when your prayers go up, God reserves the right to edit your prayers. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Y'all miss it right there. Because the Bible said, He right now sin at the right hand of the Father, and He's interceding for us. We're praying, Jesus is praying. The saints are praying, but only the Father reserves the right to answer with our prayer. Yes, sir. Let me see what comes out. God heal for when we only ask God to do temporary things. Right. I've seen God handle temporal things and we ask him to do monetary things. I've seen God bless folk with monetary rewards when we ask him for temporal things. I've seen him give our temporal things when we ask him for healing. God can answer God the way he wants to. Right. 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 But here's the thing right here. Here's the thing right here. And this is what I'm getting to right here. I don't want my prayers in to tell your name, I don't want my prayers in I don't want my prayers in Now, that means you might need to be careful who you pray with. Yeah. Yeah. Because, see, I've been in church long enough to learn that some people can mess up your prayers when they feel the kind of lie they don't promote unity in the church. They pray it, but they pray out of unity because they lack unity. All right. They're praying, but they pray out of no power yes, sir. because they lack you. I'm not going to do this little talk. Because not only do I see the dispensation of power, but lastly, I see uh, his participation in the process. All right. He demonstrates his power. He's, he's dispensation. Now, now, watch him participate in the he, he participates. That's what I like about him. Uh -huh. He participates. Uh -huh. he'll, he'll, he'll get in there. Yeah. He'll get in there with you. Yeah. Yeah. He'll have a hip and hip. Look, 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 It's in the text. It's in that. I tell preachers all the time, you know, real. I preach the text. The text is preaching set. Yes, sir. Because I know what he said right here. I'm not making this stuff up. Huh? All I did is I was going to look. Y'all got me to the and you know, literate the word. That's all I've done. The text preach itself. Watch it right here. Participation in the process. Show me where you're going to participate. Now, right here in the text. He said, Jesus said, For the two or three are gathered in my name, they are in the midst. Right. 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 Two or three. You. Gather together. You. In my name. You. Join in with you. Yeah. I know this stuff. I know. I know. Well, now here go here to see here to keep them right here from the help now. Because see, there are some stuff we got going on. And he ain't in the midst. Because if the Lord is in the midst, that means we're unified. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I ain't the smartest fish in the world. But if he ain't in the midst, that means we are unified. All right. All right. Come on. Huh? And see, I know what 
child said, well, preacher, he, he hung out the other. He, he, he everywhere at the same time. And yeah, yeah, but that ain't what you talking about in this text. It's not what you talking about in the text. Because notice here, he uses the word here when he talks about it in the myth. He uses the Greek word, which is meos in the Greek, which means time and place. Do your homework when you get home. It literally means someone who shows up at the right time, at the right place, and is immediate. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Which means that whatever you got going on, if you can get together, he'll show up as your immediate. Yes. Somebody say go between. That's all that word we are saying. It just means he's a go between. And, and see, and see, and see, there's a theological principle here that we should never forget. And that is that a New Testament believer no longer had the need for an earthly priest. Preaching him later. Because in the Old Testament, God used the priest as go between. He, he used the priest as the mediator. He, he used them as a uh, way between God and man. So if you can come to worship, you had to bring a sacrifice in your hand. Then you had to give it to the priest. And then the priest in return would receive a portion of your offering and place it on the offering of the altar. The smoke would come up and go beyond the curtain. And then the priest would go behind the curtain. It would intercede between you and God. In that process, it would be person, you, the priest, and God. Somebody say, higher. In the New Testament, you remain and God remains. But now we have a presence of the Lord in our midst. Well, I'm simply saying that he's 
He'll, he'll show you a way out of nowhere. 